Well, good afternoon. I'm down in my cellar doing a little bit of prep for the next few days. I'll be on the bank, really busy, and I thought it'd be a great idea just to do a video regarding the brand new Aero XR reels and what I use them for and what sizes as well. I've had a few questions asked me regarding this, uh, so I thought I'd do just a quick video. Uh, so here, here it is. This is the brand new, if you've not seen it before or yet, the brand new Aero Shimano Aero XR reel. Now, these are incredible. Now, we've done them in three sizes to sue all your match anglers for all disciplines, from a 3,000, a 4,000, and a 5,000. So let's say, for example, your 3,000 is perfect for your float work, short rods, canal work, 4,000, very good, versatile, commercial size reel, right from your short rods, and the 3,000 as well. could quite easily use a 3,000 for your short rods on your commercials, nine 10-foot rods. Uh, 4,000, these like, again, nine, starting at nine foot, working all the way up to your float rods, uh, let's say your 13 foot natural float rods. So there's a massive uh, array of disciplines you can use a, a 4,000 for, up to this beauty here, which is the 5,000. Now, there's many key features why this reel is so special. And I'd say in all the years I've worked and fished for Shimano, it is by far the best match reel we have ever created and I've ever had the pleasure of using. Ultra smooth, but more importantly, just everything. There's so many key features. So for a start, it's a member of the Hagani family. So that's going to create longevity, efficiency with the gears. It's cold forge gears, which just make the reel last for so long and perform consistently good. Um... It's also got micromodular where they've refined the teeth even more to make the motion of the real movement ultra, ultra smooth. It's got silent drive. That's where they've refined the teeth on the worm shaft so that when the, ro uh, the spool is rotating forwards and backwards uh, and you've got the oscillation taking place within the spool, uh, it makes it so smooth and silent and minimal play. Uh, but it's got things like... For example, the material is CI4 composite, and that's in the rotor system and the body. That's massively reduced the weight of the reel. So it only weighs, this 5,000 reel only weighs an um, incredible 250 grams. So when you take that into layman's terms for your match anglers, that means you can balance this reel out with all sizes of rods. So right from your commercial work, right up to your longer rods, where you need that ultralight reel to help balance everything out, especially with, let's say, your bolo rods, or even your heavy feeder rods, where you want to feel more at the business end of your tackle when you're playing fish. That's exactly what you get with a really light, well-balanced reel. It's also got a low gear ratio of 4, 7 to 1. So for feeder fishing, especially feeder fishing, that's absolutely perfect. So in the four and the 5,000, the four seven to one gear ratio, and in the 3,000, it's a five to three to one. So that's a faster gear ratio for your float fishing. Um, but without a doubt, this 5,000 is just so, so versatile for all different lengths. Now, when you buy one of these reels, and I'm sure when you've looked at them on the bank side, when you finally see one, you will be amazed how good they are. Um, you get a spare spool. Let me just move the camera down a bit. There we go. There's the box. So, <clears throat> just move it up a bit. There we go. So, you get a spare spool, which we'll go into in a minute. Of course, the reel, the beautiful reel, foldable handle. As I said, little things like, say, we've reintroduced the anti reverse, which is, to me, I cannot live. I cannot fish without an anti-reverse. I like the smooth, super smooth drag, but I also like that anti-reverse. And especially when you're landing fish and you're, you're bringing your landing net back, that clicking that off and allowing the reel to reverse, river, rewind, so to speak, rather than stripping line off the spool with a drag system, creates less line twist, makes your fishing far more efficient, especially with braid. Um, and within the box as well, you get... Uh, <clears throat> the uh, line reducers now <clears throat> the line reducers are a really really good idea from Shimano uh, they've been on s several models before and we thought we'd, we had to reintroduce these uh, especially for your match anglers so these line reducers mean you need less backing line 
or zero backing line before you put your main line on so all you have to do if you buy one of these reels if you're lucky enough to get one you put you clip them in let's check i'm going the right way around you got teeth on one side and holes on the other so you're just going to marry them up and you just push them in like that push them together and they're absolutely perfect now yes there's a little gap if you can see that little gap but all that matters is that 95 percent of the spool is covered and as you spool that line on it will tighten up that the gap there um and create the ultimate line lay so for example when i'm braid fishing that is perfect for me putting 150 meters of let's say 010 braid on because you don't want it spooled right to the top with braid you want that lip there yet at the same time if you wanted to use eight pound mono for your commercial fishing just for example your feeder fishing then again you can get 150 meters of that with a, a, a tighter lay, line lay at the top so those spool reducers the line reducers are absolutely perfect for braid there we go so i'm just putting on now kariki 8 braid in 010 or mono which is i'm using the uh, x age so here we are with a spool like i said to you before this is the reel i was showing you before that is 010 creaky braid now look at that for line lay and you can see the braid is below the lip which is really really important for braid and in fact from a longer distance setups i'll have the braid even lower than that so that's where i'll actually back the line up on the spool uh rather than using the reducers that come with it and that is the beauty about a spare spool we just supply one reducer pack within the reel so that allows you to create a little bit of versatility on how high you want that line or the diameter of the line that you want to use so it's up to you as an angler or a customer whether you put 200 meters of backing line on there or 100 meters to dictate where your main line whether it be mono or braid actually sits on the lip of the spool so there we have it 5000 4000 and 3000 literally a real size there to sue all your distances all your length rods for your, all your match fishing uh, and all different disciplines as well from your commercial work right down to your natural work on rivers canals lakes etc feeders wagglers bombs uh, you've literally got a reel there that ticks all the boxes so have a look at them at your local tackle shop because they are phenomenal